All right, welcome back, folks. And and if you remember, we were talking about Pete Shrine on the plane. Uh, uh, well, the the DC three, his favorite plane he ever flew, like a like a little birdie, and uh, very comfortable. So, uh, Pete, tell us about your shrine. Well, like I say, this was my shrine. You know, they made fun of me, they laughed at me. Why the? We're leaving, we're leaving the Cayman Islands again, loaded, loaded with 2,000 pounds of pot, going into Bimini. And like I was trying to say before, at that time, they didn't have this technology. You know what I mean? It's back 30, 40 years ago. You got to do it through a slide rule. You got to know what you're doing. And this navigator, he was a sharp guy, don't get me wrong. But for some reason, whether it was a little too much weight this way, or too much weight that way, we're going into Bimini. We're about maybe, I mean, three, four miles out tops. And it's butters. I hear this first part. I'm, I'm, I'm about nodding out now, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Look over to the right. I see a propeller turning, that, and then I see it stop. I said, "What the fuck?" So Billy says, "Don't worry about it." I love guys who still say, "Don't worry about it." Yeah. You know yeah. And, uh, Me and you both. <laughs> all right. All right. So I'm not worried. About it. Now, 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 I'm waking up a little bit more, right? And we're going, and I can't. You can't see shit. The water's dark. The sky's dark. And see teeny little lights. You know what I mean? Very teeny little lights. You only want their lights. They say, "Yeah." I said, "What's that?" I look over, there's the left engine sputtering. I says, hey, what the fuck? What's going on? I says, what do you do now? He says, we pray. <laughs> and we're coasting. Of course. <laughs> then everything just shut down. Now, if the plane didn't have that much weight on it, we probably could have glided a lot closer. But with that weight, we went down like a rock. Get my drift rock. Yeah, when that, rock. When that, like a rock. When that, when that front wheel hit, the front wheels hit. That plane dug in so deep, it just flipped tail end. We we're upside down now. And, and I'm panicking. You know, I'm, I want out the door. I want to. I want to know I'm on top of the water so I can swim away. Right. And he's yes. don't open the friggin' door. I said, Billy, really, why? He says, let the pressure build. We're only about eight feet deep. Eight feet deep. I said, deep my ass. I said, how you know that? He says, I said, what, whatever. I'm so proud. I'm buck up, right? So he's on buckling, right? I, I go to talk to the navigator. He ain't answering. He ain't answering. Billy goes back, checks him out. He says, uh, he's going down with the ship, you know. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm going to say about that. And that was that. So we hit Bob, you can feel it. You can feel it booming, like level itself out. Now you can open the door. Oh, boy, I, was, I couldn't get the door open. I was so nervous. He comes over, pop, pop the door, and water comes rushing in. But, you know, it wasn't like wash you away kind of water. It was just coming in the hole with the door. When it, filled up, when it filled up to the top of the cabin, he says, now, we had the raft all on time, and I said, we said, now push. And we pushed this thing out, and it went up like a little giant, whoop, tore it right up the top with me holding on. The first thing I did was climbing that son of a bitch, boys. He really <laughs> didn't seem like he was scared of nothing. He got in that, he got in the raft, and uh, now, we're looking around, and it's dark, rock, I mean, pitch black. The sky looked like the, the water, the water looked like the sky. I can't see the lights anymore, because we ain't up in the air anymore, you know? So, yeah. So he says, start rolling. I said, which way? <laughs> I see, she said, just start rolling. I, I, you roll first, I'll, I'll follow you. So we started rolling. A couple hours later, I'm, I'm rolled out, bro. I'm a young guy, yeah. I'm pretty good shape. I'm rolled yeah. out. <laughs> and then I, I must have fell asleep a lot, because the next thing I know is the sun's coming up. And uh, <laughs> the sun's coming up. Take this phone, do something with it, please. The sun's coming up. And uh, I'm sorry, audience, for answering it. But uh, and we, when the sun comes up, right, the dawn comes up, I'm, I'm up like a rabbit. I'm looking over the side of the rabbit saying, where the fuck's the wind? Billy says, I think we rode the wrong way. I said, you think we rode the wrong way? I said, yeah, I think the tide was going out when we were rolling. I said, so where are we? He says, up the line though. I said, Billy, come on, man. I said, what do we do? He said, just sit here. We just sit here. Sit here for what? It's getting hotter and hotter. And we're rolling. And we're drifting and drifting. We're drifting. We're drifting. He said, don't worry about it. Somebody will spot us. First day goes by. Second day goes by. Third day goes by, and I said, what do you think of my shrine now, sucker? Just, <laughs> With all that water, water right? <laughs> yeah, each one of those crackers, I said, what crackers did you put on it? I said, each cracker is $50. He said, Anyhow, and like, it's, like I said, at nighttime, I, I uh, don't get me wrong, I'm scared of those things, but being out on the ocean at nighttime, in that raft, mm -hmm. scary as shit, Rock. <laughs> 
you're going up the waves and you think you're gonna flip over they go down the waves but that ain't the bad part now you're floating flat out right and you hear thump what the fuck man thump i said billy what is that he said sharks i said sharks i said what are they doing they try to bump us out of the raft <laughs> that was it took my belt off took my shoelace off. i tied myself in that raft so tight you wouldn't believe it right? <laughs> I think my hand would go over the side of my leg would go over the side. Was, I'm not sure it was anywhere between seven and ten days later. Talk, talk about two fried <laughs> lobsters, we look like fried gobble. I look at that and say, snakes get filled off us. And we just we couldn't hardly talk by that time. And out of the way comes this boat. But one's going, boo boo! Those guys. Yeah. Oh there, oh there. I says, is that you, God? Because <laughs> 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 you're Coast Guard, though. Okay. They get us, they put us on board, right? They see me fucked up. So they start asking the question, and then the captain said, let's get them back where they gotta go. They got us back in, took us to the hospital, put us in some rooms. And let me tell you, we were so dehydrated, the nurses told us, man, any longer out there, you wouldn't be in this hospital no more. Right. You'd be with Davy Jones. You go Davy Jones. <laughs> and the locker. <laughs> Davy Jones' Jones's locker. <laughs> but anyhow, after landing for two days, I swear to God, it looked like another bee laying alongside of me. The skin just peeled up one fucking layer like a snake skin. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, the, now the guys come in, you know, Coast Guard shouldn't ask us, well, what happened to these guys, you know? I said, we're on our boat, right? We're out fishing. And yeah, what happened? Something went wrong. I don't know what went wrong. And we started sinking. He said, why did you just call for help? We tried. We tried everything we could. We went down. He said, where did you just go down? I said, I don't even know where the fuck I am. You asked me where I went down. I said, come on, man, what, what's the problem here? Mm -hmm. He said, we, we want to know what a boat is. I said, yeah, I bet your insurance company does too. We want me to tell you. Right. Bottom of the ocean, with all the other boats. <laughs> so he says, so what were you doing out there? We was uh, deep sea fishing. He says, yeah. He said, what are you fishing for? <laughs> now, I don't know what fish is cruising, whatever. Right. You know, Billy, you know, he told us, we were fishing for sailfish or tuna. Right. I, looked, I looked at the guy, he says, he said, what do you say? I said, I like either one of them. <laughs> She says, All right, guys, listen, I don't really believe these guys, but I can't prove you lying. Okay. You stay in the hospital for a while. Yeah. About three weeks later, me and Billy said, let's go. We rented the six caliber boat, right? And we took it out. We took it out to Bimini. And as we covered around Bimini, it got a place called Turtle Island. It's a little island. It looks like a turtle, actually. Yeah, yeah. And there it was. There that son of a bitch was low tide. The wheels are sticking out. I said, whoa. So, I tell you, right away, he's cute. He says, What do you think? Did you watch that shit while we were gone? I said, Oh, you know, he says, The navigator. I said, Billy, I guarantee you, <laughs> these island boys, they watch for shit like this all day long. You know that. Yeah. It, yeah. That shit was good. And to this day, believe it or not, that plane's still there. You can still did you leave? Out. Did you leave the, uh, the, the, the cargo there? It was no, when we got out with the ramp, but when we got back, that thing was. That thing was cleaned out like a like a clamshell. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the guys went out there and made a score. <laughs> oh, geez. They made a score. They made a ton of it. Damn. Nice. That's funny. So, um, well, that's it, guys. That's all the time we have for this week. We're going to come back next week. We're going to live question and answers. And uh, Pete's going to be here for you. Uh, what he can't answer, I'll answer because <laughs> we talked about that. <laughs> I'll, I'll play interference uh, of what, the things we don't want him talking about, but um, this is our show and we hope you enjoy it. And we thank you for being our friends and subscribing. Tell everybody else to come. This is Pete LaFresh of the DeMeo crew. And this is a pre DeMeo crew story <laughs> before he was the pick and named in different things. But uh for those of you who don't know, Pete was the number one car thief in the world, according to Rudy Giuliani and the FBI, and uh, stole 70 to 20 cars a night every night from yes. uh, 11, a, 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. Yeah, I was done. Yeah. But uh, just to like the audience, I'm telling you about all, all the bright side of these stories, you know, the funny ones and stuff. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna read you a little bit down a dark guy because I'm sure you just want to hear it. You know, so next episode is gonna give you a little insight. But first, I'm gonna tell you how I got hooked up with the Mayo crew, and then a little insight on the dark side of that joint. Anyhow, right. Uh, Tonight, well, that's you. all we got time for. God bless you. We love you. Peace out, guys. We love you. Right.